hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to store registration details using PDO data objects on a remote database PHP my admin and as well as how to prevent duplicate form submission I am using notepad plus plus for this example and in this notepad plus plus contains a simple HTML5 bootstrap template which contains bootstrap CDN links as well as five input text boxes and one submit button let's save the file we'll check the output how it looks the designing part and this is the output of that code the five text boxes one registration button let's switch back to the coding part first we'll create a remote connection string then we'll write a PDO data objects to insert the values into my remote database php my admin database and back to the coding part in the above after doc type I'm writing the PHP code dollar host name which is a local host dollar database name which is DB my database name is WPCHDVF underscore chan dollar username my username is let's copy this one test here underscore one two three the fourth one is the password password is equals to password here in the password field I am not providing my real password just for the security reasons but at the time of uploading this file into my remote server I will change into my real credentials $com is equals to new pdo method the first parameter we have to provide that data providers I am connecting to my PHP my admin which is my SQL server so my SQL host is equal to dollar this one host name DB name which is a da database name this one DB comma dollar username comma dollar this password if is set method dollar underscore post between the square brackets I am providing I am providing my submit button name this year now after that I have five text boxes so I need five variables here so dollar first name is equals to dollar underscore post method between the single quotes I am adding my input text box name which is first name copy it I need five variables the second one is the last name copy it paste here last name email email and the fourth one is a password the last one is a read password name here is a read password
now SQL query is equals to dollar this connection string I'm using prepare method now in this prepare method I'm writing the insert statement before writing the insert statement let's log into my PHP my admin database we'll check the table and the column names I just logged into my PHP my admin I'm expanding the database section here WPCHADVEF underscore charon is my user database I'm expanding that one the registration is a table name let's browse the table now in this registration table which contains a uh, zero rows let's check the column names also columns email first name id last name password and repassword and these are the column names are presented in this registration i want to save the user registration details in this registration tables let's switch back to the coding part again we'll finish the rest of the code and in the prepared statement insert into the registration the column names are first name last name email password comma re password values colon first name colon last name colon colon email colon password colon colon repassword after adding the insert statement in the prepared method dollar connection begin transaction begin transaction method dollar sql execute array method between single quotes colon first name is equals to dollar first name comma again single quotes colon last name is equals to dollar last name between single quotes this one is a column column email is equals to dollar email password dollar password between single quotes the last one is a re password re password is equals to dollar re password let's close this connection commit method echo h1 I'm closing the h1 tag registration 
successfully saved. Let's close the connection. Null. Else if dollar first name dollar last name dollar email dollar password the last one is a read password echo h2 If I fail to insert the record, I want to display the message insertion failed. Let's save the file. Now we'll check the user registration details is saving in this registration table or not. I'm reloading the browser. Okay. Now the first name is Charan. Okay, is charan at gmail.com password before register these details into my database let's check my database again I'm browsing again it's showing zero rows when I click the registration button the charan record should be saved in this registration table I'm clicking register So notice here the registration successfully saved. I'm browsing the table. The table is showing zero rows. Let's flip over to the coding part. We'll check the code. And so notice here in this array method, we have using the first name is a small letter. So we have to use this one. First name, first name, last name last name last name and here also last name let's save the file again i hope this time it's worked perfectly i'm back again to the browser let's refresh the browser again let's enter the details charan last name k charan3 at gmail.com the password is register we got a message the registration successfully saved let's check in the database i'm browsing the table see here the user registration details has been successfully saved in this registration table but here one problem is let's go to the browser again when i refresh the page see the confirm resubmission if i continue let's check in the database table and I browse again and then see here the second row is stored automatically when I refresh the page so we need to prevent the duplicate resubmission forms for that let's get back to the coding part we'll fix that thing in the if condition after the commit remove this echo I'm adding header method the location in the location I'm giving the same page name colon exit come to the bottom the submit button I'm adding on click event return message method 
after the body and add in script type is equals to text slash javascript closing the script function this message between curly braces I'm adding alert message user registration details save successfully return true let's save the file now we'll check the final results on the browser I'm reloading the browser and this time I'm entering the input values jack then jack at gmail.com click register see here we got the alert message user registration details saved successfully let's check in the database also browse and here we got the jack details here now let's get back to the browser we'll refresh the page again reload the page i'm doing a couple of times now we'll check again in the database table i'm browsing the table again browsing the table see here now we are preventing the resubmission form that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos